Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the use of an IUD or intrauterine device in perimenopause. It has so many benefits. A lot of times when you hear the word IUD, you think contraception, AKA birth control, but really an IUD in perimenopause and through the menopause transition is one of my favorite ways to tackle, treat, or manage perimenopause into menopause. So if you're interested in learning more about that, definitely stick around. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everyone. I hope you're doing something special, definitely getting outside, being in some sunshine, and being with loved ones. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Heather Hirsch. I'm the menopause director at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and staff at Harvard Medical School, and it's such a pleasure to help women in midlife succeed and feel their best. Now, oftentimes when I bring up an intrauterine device, I sometimes get very strange looks. Certain responses are, gee, I already have had my tubes tied, or my partner's already had a vasectomy, or well, I never use birth control, so why would I use it now? But an intrauterine device, or IUD for short, which I'm gonna call it in the rest of this video, has numerous benefits, which I'm gonna break down into threes like I normally do. So let's start with benefit number one, bleeding. IUDs help to decrease menstrual flow and or stop your periods with the most certainty out of all of the methods that we have. So one of the most common symptoms in perimenopause, along with starting to have hot flashes and night sweats, maybe it's also anxiety, vaginal dryness, is that women are still having periods. And actually, there's sort of this fireworks effect where as we get to the end of our reproductive cycle, those periods seem to get closer together or much heavier. In fact, to me, that was a reason that many decades ago, hysterectomies were the most common surgical procedures done on women. And then, you know, less of than a few decades ago, let's say in the 90s, early 2000s, ablations were very popular. And those are now starting to fall more out of favor, one, because they're big procedures and they can have side effects, but because now we have intrauterine devices, which are not permanent like surgery and not as invasive as an ablation. It's something that's reversible and has many benefits besides for just stopping bleeding, but that's the one that we're on right now. Being able to decrease that menstrual flow and that bleeding can help with so many things. It definitely could help with that cyclical cycle of mood issues. It can help with that fatigue that comes from losing that red blood cells when you're bleeding, AKA anemia. It can help you stop buying pads and tampons. It can decrease vaginal dryness because the bleeding also continues to change the pH of the vagina, which then goes on to cause vaginal infections like yeast infections or BB and et cetera. So that heavy, heavy bleeding towards the end of your reproductive life cycle can definitely be ceased by using an IUD. The second thing an IUD can help with is symptoms. Now you're probably thinking, well, of course, you just said bleeding, but actually for many women who are coming to see me in late perimenopause, they're still having periods, but they're having hot flashes and night sweats. Oftentimes, really good treatment for that is postmenopausal estrogen and then a progesterone if you have an intact uterus. Now, the interesting part comes into play where if you're in perimenopause and still having periods and you need estrogen, unfortunately that can turn on the faucet that causes more bleeding, but the good side is that it can help reduce those symptoms. So if you're listening closely, you realize that the first thing I said about IUDs was that it can stop or cease the bleeding. So if you have an IUD placed in the uterus and that stops or ceases the bleeding, very much so, you've cured that number one issue. And then number two, you can help to reduce those hot flashes, night sweats, or other issues with that estrogen. So remember, you need an estrogen and a progesterone if you have an intact uterus. I did a bunch of videos on progesterone here, which you can watch because some women do oral progesterone, but the difference with the IUD versus oral progesterone is that the IUD is gonna have more benefits, more efficacy in reducing that menstrual flow compared to oral progesterone. Now, just to backpedal, why do you need a progesterone if you're taking estrogen? Well, the main reason to take progesterone is to protect your uterus 
from estrogen alone. If I just gave you estrogen and didn't give you a progesterone, that could increase your risk for uterine cancer. So anytime I give someone postmenopausal estrogen who has a uterus, I need to use a form of progesterone. The third big benefit that an IUD has is it's been shown to reduce the risk of uterine cancer. That's really amazing. And probably the reason that it does so is because progesterone is one of the best medications or medicines or hormones, if you will, for the uterus. And if you have an IUD placed, it's releasing progesterone just to the uterine lining and really giving it all the treatment of progesterone that it really wants. So an IUD when used for more than five years has been shown to decrease the risk of uterine cancer. And that's really important when you're thinking about you know, risks and benefits of hormone therapy. Many people ask me about the risks of cancer with hormone therapy, of which are very, very low. The biggest fear is the one about breast cancer, and I did an incredible video here on the real risk of hormone therapy and breast cancer, which I think is really null. Now, it's also nice to know that hormone therapy reduces colon cancer as well, and if you use an IUD, then uterine cancer. So now that we've covered the three big benefits of an IUD in perimenopause, which is number one, decrease or stop menstrual bleeding. Number two, using an estrogen with an IUD to help control the symptoms like vasomotor symptoms and night sweats and etc. And third, it can decrease the risk of uterine cancer. But here are the most common questions I get about an intrauterine device. Number one, will I feel it? No, you should not feel an IUD and your partner should not feel it either. Now, every once in a while I've had someone tell me that either they had one in the past and they could feel it or a friend did and it had to be removed. To which I say, if you feel it, we should absolutely remove it. It means that it wasn't placed properly. Now an IUD goes into the uterus and the uterus really doesn't have any nerve endings. That's why if any of you are pregnant, you could grow a baby for nine months and why you could feel the baby kicking and things like that. You couldn't feel everything every second of the day. If you can feel an IUD, that means that part of it is in the cervix. The cervix does not want anything there. And if you can feel it, it can be very easily removed. Number two, what if I don't like it? Well, it can be very easily removed. And so for this exact reason, if you really don't like it, I can always take it out. It is very simple to do. And number three, what if I've already had my tubes tied or my partner's had a vasectomy? Then I say, exactly, this is not for contraception. That's not gonna happen, but this is a part of your postmenopausal hormone therapy. This is a part of your perimenopause treatment plan. And it's a really, really good one. Now, an IUD placement in the office sometimes can be a little crampy and uncomfortable, but the nice thing about it is that if you have a really good provider, there's lots of ways that we can make putting an IUD in very, very simple and easy and quick. And once you have an IUD in, it can last for five up to seven years when you're using your postmenopausal estrogen, and it is an excellent way to help you through the perimenopause and menopause transition. To me, it's one of the safest ways as well, because actually we know that for women, in the women's health study who took estrogen only, and that was Premarin in that study, they actually had reductions in breast cancer. And so an IUD may act similarly to taking estrogen without a systemic or body level progesterone. Now, I still think that oral micronized natural progesterone is a really good option if you can't have an IUD placed for whatever reason or you really decide that you don't want one. But I really think it's one of the best ways to do perimenopausal hormone therapy. I have an older video here on IUDs that I did that if you wanna learn a little bit more, check that one out too. Tell me if you've ever thought about getting an IUD placed, have an IUD placed, or what your plan for perimenopause will be. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We're so close to 15,000 subscribers. I have so many patients and students and friends who watch the channel who really motivate me to keep going, so thank you so very much. If you like this video, share it across your platforms and share it to friends. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.